What's going on guys, Constant Gamer here and welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved. In today's video I'm going to be showcasing the new items and features that were added in the latest patch 225. So considering this update was so small, I'm just going to jump straight into it as there isn't really much to talk about it. So first up is the Industrial Forge. This thing is pretty similar to the Industrial Grill, however its size is a lot different as the Industrial Grill is a lot smaller than this and nowhere near takes up that many foundation blocks. It is taking up, let's just say six, even though you've got a bit of room around the outside. So this thing works exactly the same as the Industrial Grill. You ignite it using gasoline and it takes like 20 minute, uh, 20 minute, 20 seconds to cook it each ration or whatever you call it and it cooks in bulk just like the grill does so it does 15 ingots every 20 seconds i think it is so this should go up to 30 ingots now anytime and it does have a relatively good inventory you can store loads of metal in here which it also is kind of dumb because i don't know who would have that much raw metal at a time all right guys so it's just cooked up 15 metal ingots um it did take exactly 20 seconds, you get 15 metal ingots every 20 seconds. I actually did just spend 5 minutes sitting there, watching it, thinking it was broke and why it wasn't cooking any metal. And that's when I realised I had players only enabled. And now I feel like an absolute idiot. God, I just sat there watching it, thinking my game was broke or something. But yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it to the Industrial Forge. There isn't really much to talk about it. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to quickly go and show you the prices for it now as it is actually really expensive. So guys, I'm quickly going to show you the how, it, how expensive it is right now. It is an end game piece of equipment as you unlock it at level 85. And here are the prices on screen right now. 2,500 metal ingots. 250 crystal, 600 cementing paste, 400 oil, and 400 polymer. Ah, my friends quickly messaging, on me, uh, messaging me on Steam. Yeah, on my uh, survival server, we did just get betrayed by some tribe members, and we're very angry right now. I really didn't want to do this video, but I'm doing it for you guys, so I'm staying strong. So, next up, I'm going to show off the Dodo Rex. Not the Dodo Rex, I've kind of just given it away now. But the Turkey Trial update. So this is this is going on till the 1st of December. It started on the 25th. And they've added these little cute turkeys into the game. Although they're not too cute because they do attack you. And anything in the area around them gets aggroed. As I've been attacked by random turtles when they're right next to these things. Uh, this is a level 11. And you can see how much health it has. So when you find these in the wild they are going to take ages to kill. However, you can summon your very own Dodo Rex on any survival server and have it tamed by your tribe at ease. Well, saying at ease is kind of, you know, outrageous. Because these things, every time you kill one of these, you get one wishbone. And you need a thousand wishbones to summon the Dodo Rex, which I have stored up here. It took me ages to get these. I don't know how you actually summon it. I'm assuming you light the fire and just let it cook or something. Oh no, summon with tribute. No, stop! I need to claim it! Okay, so there you go. No, no, no. Come back! Come back! No! <gasps> what is it doing? Is it mad? <laughs> So, once you spawn it, it does spawn untamed, and for some reason, it's over here, to attack in Megalodons. Oh, and there is, a, there is a timer on it. So, this thing is extremely... Let me put this in a nice way. Pointless. Guys, don't bother wasting your time to tame this, uh, to actually grind out a thousand bones. To get yourself one of these, as you only get to keep them for 15 minutes. You see, it says remaining time there. It's just running around like an idiot. Uh, it tames at level one. It spawns unclaimed, but it really is pointless. So they did add something like called the chieftain hat or something into the game. I have no idea how to get one of those. Uh, there's no crafting recipe for anything, unless I'm doing it wrong. So if any of you down in the comments know how to get that, be sure to tell me because they are pretty cool. 
Also, one other feature they added in the update, which a lot of you will probably be happy about, they've also improved CPU usage, no, not CPU usage, they've buffed the game, so you get 15% extra CPU performance when playing now, which is obviously going to help a lot of you guys who may have, you know, lower spec computers, or just struggle running the game with your high ends because of optimization and all sorts like that. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. It's been a relatively short video. The latest patch hasn't really added much. I'm really just hope waiting for the OV Raptor now. They've changed the update times twice for it. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or it helped you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I just want to thank you all for all the comments, shares and likes on all my latest videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.